we shall discuss uh, one problem in uh, evaporation an evaporative an evaporation system concentrates a weak liquor from 5% to 50% solids solids means here that is the solute initially concentration of the feed solution is 5% and it is to be concentrated to 50% solids handles 100 kg of solids per hour. That means the capacity of the system is it will handle 100 kg of solids per hour. So up to this, this is one evaporator, one case. Next, if the same system is to concentrate a weak liquor from 4% to 35%, find the capacity of the system in terms of solids that can be handled per hour assuming water evaporation capacity to be same in both the cases. That means here first we need to understand the problem carefully in this. Once you understand the problem then you can write the material balance easily. So here uh, two cases are there. In the first case uh, shall we start uh, drawing the diagram here. So case one. I am drawing at the bottom because I want to keep this diagram when we work out the problem. So there are two cases here. Case 1, case 2. Okay. Right. So this is case 1. Case 1 evaporation system. This one. This is evaporated. And some water is evaporated and we are getting the product P and this is F. And another case is there that also same evaporation system. Here also F is entering, W is evaporated and P is obtained as the product. Since two cases are there here, we will assume case 1, we will give suffix F1. F1 is the feed in case 1 and W1 is the water evaporated in case 1 and P1 is the product obtained in case 1. In Similarly, F2, W2 and P2. Okay. So now. An evaporator system concentrates a weak liquor from 5% to 50% solids. In last class, we have discussed clearly what is XF, what is XP and all that. So, initial concentration is 5% means here XF is equal to 0.5% that is so 0 0.05. XF equal to 0 0.05. Since in the case 1, we are giving the suffix 1 here. Uh, shall we write xf1 okay xf1 is 0 0.05 here xp xp1 so from 5% to 50% that is 0 0.5 okay so this is the first system and one more point is given in the first system uh, first case uh, and it handles 100 kg of solids per hour here is uh, usually you may get uh, mistake here. This uh, with a, if you don't read properly this now you may take F equal to 100 kg. But it is not given that F is 100 kg. It handles 100 kg of solids per hour. Means what is the amount of solids here? That is F1 amount of solids. In the last class we have discussed the amount of solute in the feed, amount of solute in the feed is given by FXF. So here case 1 we are writing so F1 XF1. This is amount of solute or here we are solids in the feed. That is 100 kg. That is 100. Okay. But not F. It is not mentioned that 100 kg of feed solution or 100 kg of dilute solution. It is not mentioned like that. 100 kg of solids. That means F into XF gives the amount of solids. So 
So this is the first case information. Now, if the same system is to concentrate a weak liquor from 4% to 35%, that means here XF2 equal to XF2 0.04, 4% 4 it is. X F two equal to point zero four. Okay. Next to thirty five percent. That means X P two is equal to point three five. Okay. That, this is the concentration that will be done in the second case. Find the capacity of the system. Capacity means what here? Capacity, what we are saying, means uh, how much solids it can handle. It can handle. That is XF. F, XF. FXF is also equal to PXP. That is the amount of solids it can handle. So, find that can be handled per hour. That means nothing but... Uh, F2, X, F2 equal to how much? Here FXF1 is given. Here F2, XF2, they are asking. Uh, assuming <coughs> water evaporation capacity to be same in both the cases. What is water evaporation capacity? Here W1, here W2. That is the water evaporation capacity. Water evaporation capacity. Capacity is equal to W. So, W1 in the first case, W2 in the second case is same. <coughs> that means W1 equal to W2. This is given. So, using this assumption, we can calculate this one by writing material balances in both the cases. Okay? So, the problem, till now we have discussed the problem. An evaporation system concentrates a weak liquor from 5% to 50% solids. 5% to 50% solids. If the same system is to concentrate and it handles 100 kg of solids per hour. That means F into XF equal to 100. Because all this information is for case 1. One suffix we are giving. Next, the same system... <coughs> if it concentrate 4% to 35%, 0 0.04 to 0.35, find the capacity of the system. That means F2, XF2, assuming that water evaporation capacity, that means W1 and W2 is the same. That is the problem. So, this diagram, this part we will keep it. Now, if you look at this again, you need not read the problem also. Seeing this, we can write all the steps. Now, first we will take case 1. So, what is the overall balance for case 1? Overall balance for the case 1 is F1 equal to W1 plus P1. That will be equation 1. Now, F1, XF1 is given. F1, X, F1 is equal to 100. Given. Solids handling capacity. Solids handling capacity. Okay. Okay. F1, XF1. That we know that uh, solids are same. So, uh, the amount of solids here are equal to the amount of uh, solids in the product stream. Because no solids are going into this uh, W stream. Okay. Only water content will change. But solids, whatever present in the feed, the same amount of solids will also present in the product stream. So, F, F1, XF1. We know that F1, XF1 equal to P1, XP1. Okay. So, you know XF1. 
and you know XP1 and you know this whole thing you know whole thing you know so you can calculate P1 therefore P1 is equal to F1 XF1 by XP1 therefore P1 equal to 100 divided by XP1 is 0 0.5 okay that is 200 200 kg so we got this stream P1 now so from equation 1 from equation 1 what is W1 you can calculate or don't go for equation 1 now only yeah okay you substitute to and will see equation 1 W1 is equal to W1 equal to F1 minus P1 okay so you know P1 and what is F1 F1 we can uh, uh, calculate from 2 let it be this so from 2 from 2 from this equation F into XF1 is given as 0 0.05 is equal to 100 so this is F1 so F1 equal to 100 divided by 0 0.05 that is its value is uh, 2000 its value is 2000 kg okay so now we have got F1 and now you have P1 also you can calculate W1 so W1 equal to F1 minus P1 F1 is 2000 minus P1 is 200 that is 1800 kg is it kg per hour that is given means you can take kg per, per hour only or kg means kg no problem so water evaporated in the first case is you got it as 1800 kg okay so we have completed the first case now in the second case and it is given that w1 equal to w2 so here w2 we know now then we try to calculate f2 except Next case 2. Okay. In the case 2, F2 is equal to W2 plus P2. So let it be equation 1. Next. Solids balance. You can write. This is overall balance. overall balance next solids balance solids balance f2 xf2 is equal to p2 xp2 this is second equation okay like that you can write now from one what you can say you know w2 isn't it that is 1800 so F2 minus W2, F2 minus P2 equal to W2. That is F2 minus P2 equal to 1800. Let it be equation 3. Next, F2 XF2. That is from 2. Substitute the values from 2. This is from 1. Okay. F2 XF2. What is XF2 here? 0 0.04. So 0 0.04 F2 is equal to XP2 is 0 0.35. 0 0.35 P2. Okay. So we got like this. Uh, then let it be equation 4. 
then you can solve equation 3 and 4. Two equations here and two unknowns. You can solve any way you want. You know it. That means here F2 equal to so much of P2. Suppose for example here F2 equal to 0.35 by 0.04 P2. And uh, like this. This you substitute here. Substitute here. You will get in terms of P2. Then solving all these things. This like this or uh, somehow you can solve. Any way you want. Uh, on the whole I am writing solving equations 3 and 4. Now uh, this diagram is over now. Because W1 equal to W2. We took here. Right. And we are trying to find out W2. F2 and P, P2 here, then we need solids handling capacity means F2 except, except anyway you have. That means if you can calculate F2, you can calculate this whole thing. Okay. F2 is equal to P2 is equal to 232.2 kg and F2 is equal to 2031.75 2031.75 kg ok so thus we got F2 and so Solids handling capacity in second case in second case is equal to F2 XF2. So F2 is 2031.75. Into x f two is uh, point uh, x f two is point zero four point zero four. So this is equal to eighty one point two seven. That means the second system can handle eighty one point two seven kg of uh, solids mole fractions no units so you have so second system can handle so much of kg of uh, solids okay so what is the conclusion here the same system first uh, two cases are given in this in case one initial concentration of solids final concentration of solids both are given so we calculated W. Solids handling capacity is given in the first case. So we could calculate uh, W. Then it is given that the same W even in the second case. So we used that W value that is 1800. Now in the second case XF2 is given means weight fractions initially and finally are uh, given. Then using those material balances we could calculate uh, capital F that is the feed. P is not required also here actually only F2 except. So F2 we calculated XF2 is given and this is the amount of solids. Thank you.